Hello everyone and welcome back to the second episode this weekend. And in this episode we will be doing some side questing because we were in not the not the last one that I just uploaded earlier today, but the one prior to that we also went and um we were continuing on the little side quest that we had it was called horsing around and helping Penny to trust a big, very big, big, big horse with wings. And now we are going to meet with Hagrid and tell him about our little adventures with the Operation. And it's actually very, very great because we are, um, we have a lot, a lot, a lot of things to go on here in the training grounds. But fortunately we have, um, appointed to say that meeting with Hagrid don't press meet with Penny because that will probably um, start the, the Quidditch adventures which will probably also be like a side quest uh, adventures we'll be doing as well so let's go and meet with Hagrid and see what's gonna go on here oh the Abrashian is here right here so, oh alongside with Penny oh, that's cool all right This is my Abrasian. It will never be tame, but it trusts me. And that's what matters. And it seems to like Penny well enough. Ugh. Enough to let us take copious notes on its likes and dislikes. Yeah. What a beauty! <laughs> he doesn't. I don't think he likes Hagrid very much. Keep him away from me! No. Did I do something wrong? Yes, sir. Let's reassure him. It's not his fault. He was just excited. And as far as I've understood, you shouldn't be too excited around horses just normally as well because they get them, get, really get them reeled up or something. I'm not a big horse buddy. I don't really like being near horses as such. So. Uh, that's my assumptions of what I've been told by others. I don't know if I'm right or not. And let's reassure Hagrid. I don't think it's you. It didn't like Penny at first, but this is something else. Wait, what? Is something threatening it? <laughs> Thanks, Ray. That's nice to hear. Mm. Abrasian might be ma magical creatures. They're still horses. They're all a little bit mad. I think it's because they're prey animals, if you want to be technical about it. <laughs> Why did you take me down here, woman? Oh dear. Oh, it fell off. I understand. Ah! That's going to be a problem. It looks like he's going to the courtyard. Ah. I can check it down easily, you know? But I don't know much about Abrasians. No. That is the only one I've ever seen around here. And I still got no idea where it came from. Don't worry, Hagrid, we'll figure it out. It's like Rowan always says, knowledge is power. I'm sure there's something that can tell us about what's wrong. Yeah, you took it to a school where there's a lot of noises. Take it back to the reserve where it can calmly just exist, you know? Hey, that makes sense, right? Or is it just me? Well, anyway, let's uh, get some brainstorming done here and some chocolate frogs, maybe gets. Maybe we're lucky this time wrong. Oh, let's see here. Reflex. Have you ever seen an abrasion react that way? Not really. Oh, but well, maybe. Depending on if it's tame or not, I think. What sort of things are horses afraid of? Loud noises. That's my assumption because I, I've been told by before by another person that horses do not like sudden loud sounds. That's it. And in a school courtyard where there's confined space, I know the th this place is the training grounds are pretty big, but it's still sort of confined with the walls and such. 
So that's my assumption, really. There might be something in the library that can help. Sounds like a good idea. Go to the <laughs> go to the library. Library. Never seen the Abrasian act like that. Let's try a different angle then. I hope the Abrasian's okay. Yeah, I hope so too. What's the difference about this place? Walls, loud noises, and a lot of different people that might be walking by. Out in the forest, there's only all the creatures that... And Ray, <laughs> basically. And Ray. Maybe Hagrid if he just tumbles around anyway. But Ben could see what the person is afraid of. Is that a hint again that Ben is afraid of everything? <laughs> So everything he's afraid of, the Brassian might be afraid of as well. Oh dear. Are we sure it is scared of something? And it's not... It could be, it's just mad. Oh yeah, we didn't give you treats. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't give me my treats, I'm off. <laughs> Horse around. If I were a Brassian, what well, could scare me? That's the same thing when you lose a lose an item and you go like, if I was this lost item, where would I be? <laughs> Not that it helps, but it 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 sets in a thinking process in motion, um, which is kind of I do it like if I were my phone, where would I be? <laughs> and I, I, that's the best example because that, that I use constantly actually. <laughs> so dumb. Perhaps we're going all at this all wrong. Maybe. Maybe Professor Kettleburn knows. Yeah, you could ask Kettleburn. After all, he's a magical teacher. Teacher. Studies teacher at the moment. A teacher, 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 teacher. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever seen an abrasion? Oh, we're starting to circle. Okay. Complain. There's nothing scary here. I don't understand. Well, maybe not for a Hogwarts student that is used to a lot of magic, a lot of other students, wall, confined spaces. You know. So, so okay. So now we're just circling. So let's see if we can find the biggest one. Skyrim. Consider. And Freet. Because we get some free energy points back. Unless it actually needed five. It might just have needed five. I hope the Braxian's okay. Yeah, we all do, dear. We all do. So let's see here. I've got it! It got scared of its own shadow. Hmm. Seriously? Abrasian are basically giants, magical horses with wings. Horses are afraid of everything, including shadows. There aren't a lot of shadows in the creature reserve, and the castle freaked it out. We just need to calm it down. Mm. Well, a calming drug could help, but I don't think it's a proof for you. Equin use. <laughs> we could try a single malt whiskey. That's why they drink, isn't it? Oh, we are taken back to the Beau Baton event because the headmistress usually just made her horses drink that, right? So, <laughs> that's funny. Whiskey might be an option for the Abrasian, but I'm on the age and terrified. <laughs> I've never seen the Abrasian look at me that way. Ugh. Leave the whiskey to me! What? Hey, are you giving us Marula sass right now? <laughs> oh no, she's giving us Marula sass. Hmm. You need to focus on controlling your fear before you even approach the Abrasian, or the whiskey won't be enough. Oh, she's telling us off. You brought that horsey here. Now you! 
need to be the courageous one. Got that? <laughs> Gain 550 courage points. You have to be brave if you are going to calm down your Bastion. And I need time to get the whiskey. All right. So can we do it instantly or do I actually need to go and do some things here? Let's just see. No, I actually do have to go and get it. Oh, that is a bit unfortunate. <laughs> I had hoped that I could just continue on. All oh, right, I guess. Um. Hmm. Okay, that means I'll just be right back. <laughs> Yay, we got the points we needed by doing one five-hour lesson and then feed creatures in the magical reserve. And now Hagrid has found our Abrasian, it seems. And we have to extract it. I found your Abrasian in the courtyard. If you don't calm it down, it might do some serious damage. Yeah, we better go there then. Here we go. Away we go. Extract your Abrasian with some friendship and a helping hand. Yes, indeed. Let's go. Let's just go. Where did you get that amount of whiskey from? Oh dear. Now, let's go and talk to her instantly. I think I'm as ready as I will ever be to face a terrified Abrasian. Did you get the whiskey? A whole bucket of single malt courtesy of Hagrid. Oh, it was Hagrid who got the whiskey for her. <laughs> oh, and I was just a, for, like, if she had gone to me and gone like, I need one barrel of single malt whiskey, please. Mm, for no specific reason other than calming down a horse. <laughs> Are you sure you want to come? This could get messy. Horse and couldn't stop me. <laughs> is that single malt? <laughs> is that single malt whiskey I see there? That looks interesting. That's going to do. That's going to do a lot of structural damage. I didn't realize how messy this thing is. What's the plan, Ray? Speak softly. It's <laughs> establish authority or feed it. I would say speak softly. That usually works with horses, as far as I've, I've already mentioned a couple of times. A person, I've to, uh, a person who did own horses once told me. So I'm going by that fact because I have no understanding on horses whatsoever. So I'm just going to do that. Let's try a gentle approach. Who's a good brush? <laughs> oh no, not that one again. Who's a good brush? You are. You are. <laughs> it's so condescending in some way. <laughs> Am I a good brush? I know I'm not pronouncing the animal's name right, but that's where my brain goes to every time, so it's just gonna stay like that. That's how I pronounce it. I'm sorry. But that's how it's gonna be. <laughs> You know me. I am your friend, remember? Um, yeah, you give me treats all the time, so maybe... <laughs> I think it's wrecking. Calming it down seems to be the best solution. If I keep it calm and distract it from the shadows, it should be fine. Aww. There's a lot of shadows here. I hope I brought enough whiskey. <laughs> Can it even fly after drinking that much whiskey? <laughs> it will not be flying in swoops <laughs> back to the red surf like her. <laughs> oh dear me! There's no time. Let's do this. <laughs> yeah, because it's gonna be a fun flight home, isn't it? Don't drink and fly, people. Don't drink and fly. Oh, that kid just ran away. <laughs> Did you guys see that kid? <laughs> My goodness. Oh, it's an eight hour. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Let's see here. Worry. <laughs> Just worry about the structure. I hope that Brian doesn't scruff the masonry. 
Yeah, that would be a pity trying to explain why uh, the fountain suddenly is broken. <laughs> be sure. There's nothing to be afraid of, I promise. Getting the oppression out might be difficult. Why did it even land in the core giant then? It's even much more confined than the other place, like the, the training grounds. Interesting. Whoa there. Whoa there, little boy. Whoa there. Murph. Mm, I'm not sure about this, girls. Are you sure this is gonna be okay? Much destruction? And that's gonna leave a mark. Yeah, you can fix it up. Maybe. <laughs> no, 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 no. Look at me, look at me. Me? Oh, okay, I'm looking at you. What do you want me to do? I'm not sure what you want me to do. Shh, everything is okay, little boy, little girl. I do not know the gender of this one. <laughs> Got a bucket of single malt whiskey, and I'm not afraid to use it. That's a thread penny, but I don't think it's a thread. It sounds more like a treat for these kind of creatures. Why would it land in here? That's a good question. Consider space. Getting the brushing out might be difficult. Yes, indeed. Repair would probably do the trick. Okay, you you also fixing about uh, thinking about fixing the whole thing. <laughs> Sounds like a great idea. So let's see here. Everyone out! <laughs> Just run! Oh, the kid is back there. Can we see him? No, it's just by Penny's stomach. There is like an arm <laughs> of a person. <laughs> like, hello! I'm here too! <laughs> The shadows can't hurt you. You're safe. Okay, that's circling because that's the masonry again. And that, I think this is also... Yes, that's also circling. I got to speak softly. Be steady. Just give me some to drink so I can go home. There's nothing to be afraid of, I promise. No, 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 no. Easy down, easy down, easy down, easy down. We're definitely also circling with the with the horsey now. There we go. It's everything's okay. And we just start to find the larger ones. So we can finish this off rather quickly because we are circling the whole way around. And we make sure that the horsey doesn't get too scared. Because it doesn't need to be. And we just avoid it freaking out again. <laughs> so let's hope for the best, indeed. And worry a bit, that's fine. As long as the horse is not freaking out, it's fine. Uh... Let's do the last one with Penny, it's probably the whiskey one. So, uh, I have a barrel of whiskey, I'm not afraid to use it one. It is! Single malt whiskey and I'm not afraid to use it. Drink up, little buddy, drink up. Oh, very calmly. <laughs> For me? <laughs> oh, it's so cute. It's alright, there's nothing to be afraid of. <laughs> yes, yes. There's nothing like a good whiskey for a horse like me. <laughs> we have let that price into the whiskey. But we can't make it drink. Well, that didn't take long though. Penny, that definitely didn't take long. <laughs> ah! I stand corrected. How are we going to get it out of the courtyard though? Maybe I can fly it home? No, let's go home! 
I'm a little tipsy and we might be flying a little weird, but I'm ready. I don't think the humans understand what I'm saying, but that's fine. All right, is then. Meet with Hagrid. Ahead, yeah, and Penny, calm down the abrasion. Let's finish up our report for uh, Professor Dumbledore. That sounds like a great idea. And we will also be doing this in last one. Let's meet with Hagrid. And that's also the last part of this event, isn't it? The side quest. Let's look at it. Yes, it is the last one. Bring the brush into Hagrid. Yes, it, that was an unsteady ride home. Oh, he's looking at the Niffler. That's cute. Someone wants to see you, Hagrid. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> Hello. Thanks for the whiskey. He, he was very nice. Now I'm a little tipsy. Yeah. yeah, we did it. I knew I could count on you. He was scared of all the shadows up in the castle, but Penny and I calmed it down. The whiskey helped a um, tremendous lot. After all this, we have got something interesting to tell Professor Dumbledore. Ah! Mind helping me put all this research together? <laughs> I can help too if you want. <laughs> After all, it is about me, isn't it? I still don't think they understand what I'm saying. <laughs> I'll take that as a yes. <laughs> okay, a free hour one. Yes. So let's see, what do you have? Path of way. Yes, it was a very glorious day, really. I still see the spinning signs out in front of my eyes. Yes, spin, spin, spin. <laughs> <laughs> Professor Dumbledore will love this. A brushing shouldn't be confined to small spaces. No, 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 no. Uh, that sounds like a great idea. I bet Bobatan will appreciate all this research. Well, she already know the part about the whiskey. <laughs> Cause she feeds her horses whiskey all the time. Was not what she fed them, I believe. It's best to stay where they can see you. Yeah, don't go behind a horse. That's another thing I know. Don't go behind a horse where they can't see you. That will freak them out. Definitely. I think I have talked about the story with me being kicked in the face, in the head as a child by a horse. So, yeah. <laughs> More snacks! Oh, I was getting a little hungry from all the drinking. Thank you. You don't know? You know? I'll bet I could ride all one of those. Yeah, it's actually kind of hackery size, not a human size, hackery size. <laughs> to us, it's like, yeah. That's too big for us, but for him, it's kind of proper sized. Definitely. Yeah, a big great help, Ray. I won't forget this. Oh, that's nice. Tough love won't calm them down, though. That's a good thing. It's a wild horse, of course it won't. Majestic creatures, Abrasians. Yes, they are very pretty. I don't think I can have one in my garden, though. No, you will not be able to have me in your gardens. I will be stumping all over your pumpkins. <laughs> Sorry, that's that's a whiskey talking. <laughs> oh, I think we're circling, though. No? <laughs> I do believe that's the whiskey talking. I'm sorry. <laughs> And we're also circling with Hagrid. They are afraid of shadows. I don't think we have that. They only drink single malt whiskey. Well, that one we do know from the Bobadden event. Because she does... <laughs> she does feed them to it. Feed them that, doesn't it? <laughs> Open spaces are better for Abrasians. Yes. They, once they trust you, Abrasian, are your, Abrasians are your friends for life. 
that's a bold statement, Ray, for you just being so afraid of it. Him, her. Hmm. Interesting, though. Abrasions shouldn't be confined to small faces, spaces. Now I know I have had that once, so we would just go for the biggest one and see. Yes, I've had a great time with you people. But now we have figures around time for bed. <laughs> I don't know why I've given the horse so many voices and opinions and such. I just found it funny. <laughs> Thanks for all your help, Ray. I couldn't have done it without you. It's my pleasure. I've had fun horsing around. But I'm going to miss my abrasion when we send it off to Bobadans. Whoa! What? We, we're just sending um, some information. They got enough abrasions at Bo Barton's as it is. Ha! Besides, how could I break up a friendship such as special as the what ye have with ye abrasion? Did you hear that, mate? We are friends. Yes, indeed we are. And please come around a lot of times and give me snacks, because that, that is the best time of day. That's snack day. Snack time, snack day. <laughs> and we got 200 friend points as well with uh, with Hagrid. That's cool. Yes, what can we collect? Oh, we got gems and a chocolate frog. Okay, so let's see what's on the chocolate frog. Oh, let, wait, one. Here, Hagrid's news. I got some news. Come to the magic creatures to serve and I will tell you. Okay, let's just view this. Uh, oh, the dark horsey one. The dark horse. That's probably... Okay, that one I've actually been slightly spoiled with, with Penny as far as I remember. Because I've seen a picture on Twitter. Penny was hawking the horse. Or, yeah, it's not really a horse, but... He, Somewhat a horse, anyway. However, that is another side quest for another day. Because we did the Brazilian cutie proud, and he's so nice and sweet. So, let's just top off this because it, for me, it always annoys me when I can see something is amiss and this as well. When there's like notifications, I just can't have that. We also did something here. Oh, free energy points. <laughs> Thank you. I kind of like. I kind of need that. Anyway, we have done the little Abrasian horsey proud, and the Niffler is just sitting there, looking at what's going going on. Like, what's game? What? What in the goodness gracious is this? <laughs> is there any other creatures just hanging? Oh, they're just hiding around. I would not have noticed that if I had just gone out of it. It's kind of cute. Are all the creatures here, or is just a niffer and uh... I can't remember what he's... Oh! There's a little... There's a little porcupine one! It's not a porcupine in this world, but for me it's a porcupine! And they're so cute! <laughs> is a fairy here too? Or... The fairy should be here too, that's one of the first ones. Oh, he's just not bothered today? Wouldn't wonder me if it, the fairy's not bothered. <laughs> I don't think the fairy is here though. I'm sorry, I just needed to know because that's small details. I love those small kind of details. I'm sorry. But no, doesn't seem to be here. No, they're taking the day off. Alrighty then. Alright, that actually means I'll be ending off here. And until next time guys, take care and have a fantastic day.